Hello and welcome back to another day. Today we're going to do a short little video showing you how to change the fuel filter on a LML Duramax. This is a 2014 GMC Sierra with the LML Duramax engine in it. Now I am not a diesel mechanic. Um, I know how to change fuel filters, do oil changes, and I know some basic other stuff. So I understand how engines work. I could figure it out, but admittedly, I really don't know a whole lot about diesels. However, I do know how to change the fuel filter on here. I kind of thought it'd be a fun little video just to show you guys real quick how to do it at home. You don't have to take it to a shop, just a little bit of mechanical know-how. So I'll show you guys how I do it. There's different ways to, you know, skin a rat or whatever it is that you're skinning, but this is my way. So some guys do this by taking the wheel off and uh, getting up through this hole right here. My fender liner um, has been off a bunch of times, so it's easy enough for me to take it off. Um, I mean, it's been torn up and hacked at and cut. This is from uh, the previous owner. That's nice, right? I'll just forget about that. Anyways, I'm going to pull this fender liner out and I'll show you where the fuel filter is. Okay, so this is why I take it off, all right? There is your fuel filter. That freaking easy. You have all this space, you can see what you're doing. You can reach the clip to your water separator. It's quick, fast, easy, in a hurry. So this took me about three minutes to take my fender liner off. Now, I don't know how easy yours is gonna be. You know, yours may not have been off 400,000 times like mine has, but if you take that off, you have absolutely the easiest access in the world to that fuel filter. Now, when you snatch this out of here, I want you to remember two things. Don't tear up your water separator because it's made out of plastic on the bottom. And this is gonna be full of diesel fuel. Don't forget to unplug this because if you don't unplug that as you're spinning this, it'll pull the wires out. It's a big fat headache. So you don't wanna deal with that. Okay, so there's our fuel filter. A couple of things to note here. Once again, this is going to be full of diesel. On here, you have to take this water separator off in order to put it on your new filter. And you want to make sure that this O-ring that's in here isn't stuck up on there anywhere. Now, that doesn't happen very often. That's a pretty rare thing but you always want to check. Um, if you wanted to, in theory, before, you can stick a uh, hose on this and open that valve, drain your filter before. Now, this has to come out. There's an O-ring on this. Your new fuel filter will come with this O-ring and a new O-ring for that. So make sure you replace those. Don't just go throwing your filter on willy-nilly. Now, you're supposed to use the proper size socket for, or not socket, wrench for this. But if you just gently get you a good pair of square angle channel locks, gently grab a hold of that. If the guy before you or you didn't over tighten this, you should be able to take it out fairly easy. There you go. And there's your O-ring for the bottom. Now remember, once again, you're going to have a new one of these. So make sure whenever you install all this, you put those O-rings back where they go. All right, so now we got our new filter out. We're gonna stick our O-ring on this side and take, screw in. Always put these side by side. Make sure they're the same filter, obviously. That whole song and dance. If you guys are doing this, you should already know, hey, you know, I need to check and make sure my filters are the same. 
that's a uh, basic maintenance mechanic in 101 always check your filters before you install them make sure they're the same don't cross thread anything and this is going plastic to plastic so do not over tighten this because if you do you're going to have a hell of a time also if you uh pull the the uh threads out of this side or the inside you're having a really bad day so on this top one your o-ring sits like that around the edge of the filter okay now we're going to take and we're going to fill this with diesel now i know this is a gas can but i specifically bought this can literally just to hold little bits of diesel so i can fill fuel filters or clean parts or whatever i need to do Make sure we fill up all the cavities. Okay. So now we got a nice fuel, full fuel filter. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna spin her back on. It always pays to look up in there and check your mating surfaces. Just make sure everything's good. You don't have extra gaskets or anything in there. Because unless you've been doing the maintenance yourself, you never know. Okay. All right. Now that that's in we make sure we plug our water separator in all right and that's done now let's start it up and check for leaks There you go that easy <clears throat> that is definitely one of those things that you can do at home seriously i am a i'm a good mechanic i well i won't know if i'd say i'm a good mechanic i'm a decent mechanic i know a little bit but um like i said i'm not a decent mechanic i don't really know a whole lot about them but that being said fuel filter oil changes things like that don't be afraid all you have to do with fuel filters is make sure that you get your oil rings on there Make sure they're seated properly and make sure that you fill the fuel filter so that you don't have to reprime the system because if you get air in there, you're having a bad day. So it's that easy. Um, if you guys want to see more on my, my service truck slash work rig, let me know. Until next time, have a great day.